The U.S. Navy has accepted delivery of the second ship of the Zumwalt class USS Michael Mansour DDG 1001. The vessel was manufactured by shipbuilder General Dynamics Bath Ironworks. The U.S. Navy said in a statement, delivery of DDG 1001 follows extensive tests, trials and demonstrations of the ship's HM and E systems, including the boat handling, anchor and mooring systems, as well as major demonstrations of the damage control, ballasting, navigation and communication systems. The Zumwalt class of warships are the largest and technically most sophisticated guided missile destroyers of the U.S. Navy. The delivery was taken after the successful conclusion of acceptance trials conducted by the U.S. Navy in 2018. As per the roadmap, installation and activation of the guided missile destroyers combat systems will be carried out in San Diego, California, which will be its home port. The vessel is slated to be commissioned in January of 2019. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why America's Zumwalt class will have no match from Russia or China in the next 20 years. Let's get into the details. Stealthy design is mostly attributed to warplanes, but Zumwalt class brings the stealth to a major warship. Zumwalt class destroyers feature unique wave-piercing tumble-home hulls. The hull slopes inward from above the waterline, which is very different from traditional hulls, which move outwards at a hard angle. The design significantly reduces the radar cross-section, since the slope makes the hull return very less radar signal that's directed to it when compared to a traditional hull. This makes the ship harder to detect and target. There's no other frontline battleship which has this kind of revolutionary design. USS Zumwalt is the first warship of the US Navy to feature an all-electric propulsion. The vessel consists of an all-electric drive with an integrated power system. The system consists of two main turbine generators, two auxiliary turbine generators and two 34.6 megawatt advanced induction motors. The electric propulsion system has many advantages. The system eliminates the need for the drive shaft and many other heavyweight components. This not only enables easier maintenance, but also reduces the acoustic signature of the warship, making it harder to detect by sonars. Importantly, the system generates 58 megawatts of additional reserve power, which allows the legroom for future upgrades like integrating laser weapons and railguns. Zumwalt class uses extensive automation. For example, the vessels of this class have an automated cargo handling system. The automation reduces crew complement that's required to run the ship. The Zumwalt class vessels require a minimum complement of 130 personnel, which is less than half needed by similarly sized warships. This will reduce operation costs as well as enable stocking more weapons, which could be crucial in a battle scenario. The Zumwalt class has 80 Mark 57 cells protected by Peripheral Vertical Launch System PVLS. The PVLS is designed to reduce the chances of the risk of loss of the entire missile battery or even the entire ship in case of the magazine explosion. The system consists of pods of VLS cells that are placed in the outer shell of the ship's superstructure. The outer shell is built with thin steel whereas the inner shell has thick steel. This design configuration directs any forces of explosion outwards, reducing the chances of crippling damage. The important part is that each of these cells are capable of accommodating four different missiles, which include SM-1, SM-2 and SM-6 missiles or Tomahawk land attack missiles. So Zumwalt class can go to a mission armed with different weapons payload depending on the scenario. SM-1 is a medium range surface to air missile with a secondary role as an anti-ship missile. It has a range of 167 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. SM-2 is an upgrade of SM-1 with an increased range of 185 kilometers and better sensor. SM-6 is meant for anti-air warfare with a range of 240 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. The SM-6 can also function as a high-speed anti-ship missile. 
Tomahawk land attack missile is a long-range all-weather subsonic cruise missile it has a maximum range of 2,500 kilometers US Navy has given a contract to Lockheed Martin the manufacturer of Tomahawk to develop a maritime strike Tomahawk which will play the role of the long-range anti-ship missile the Zumwalt class also has two 155 millimeter caliber advanced gun system to execute long-range artillery strikes at the range more than 100 kilometers currently the guns are lacking ammunition the land attack projectile LR lap that were developed for the purpose was rejected because of the very high cost of one million dollars per shell the US Navy is yet to select a replacement but is already evaluating multiple options thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section this will help us improve